everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I thought it would be fun to show you guys my jewelry collection. I have been binging these videos on YouTube the past few days, so I felt inspired to film my own and share my collection. I absolutely love jewelry, I love collecting it, and because of that reason I don't really have any expensive jewelry just because honestly I think it's more fun to mix and match things so all of my jewelry is very affordable um we have a lot to get through so make sure to follow my social media I will have them linked down below and without further ado let's jump into it I'm going to show you everything by category so I want to start off with necklaces so the one that I'm actually wearing right now is one of my all-time favorite necklaces it's just my name necklace so it just says Jordan on it. I got this for my birthday from my parents a few years back and it's held up really, really well. I'll have the website I got this on down below, but I know there's tons of websites that do custom necklaces. Next necklace I have is my Kendra Scott one. I love pink, pink's my favorite color, and I just thought this one was gorgeous when I saw it online. So I believe I got this for another birthday as well. Clearly, I enjoy jewelry. So next, I have this beautiful little dainty rose necklace. I believe I got this from my grandma when I was just a baby. I just love how dainty it is. Um, it's really great for layering as well. This next necklace is another one of my favorites. I got this from Jackie, my roommate, from the ship. It is just a little gold globe. I love this so much. This is very me. Um, and I wear this as well quite a bit. I'm not sure where this is from, but she gifted it to me and anytime I wear it, I think of her, so it's one of my favorites. Now we have my little J initial necklace. This I actually got from Blush Boutique, which is the boutique I used to work at in Buffalo, but there are a lot of websites that sell these. I have another necklace that is from Blush. This is from the brand FEB, um, and my boss actually gifted this to me when she visited me on my cruise ship. It's just a little star, and I absolutely love the chain of this one. It just has like a little bit of a flare. All the necklaces I've shown so far are gold, so we'll throw in a silver one. So this one is just a little pendant from Pandora. I used to be a uh, like college ambassador, so they sent this to me. Just classic, it goes really well with um, the ring I have. And yeah, just a... Uh, timeless piece. Another silver necklace that I absolutely love is my Leo necklace. I got this from Nikki. I am a Leo, so I just, I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. I'm not sure what brand it is. I think it's, oh, okay, here we go. It's the Unwritten brand. I have two layered necklaces, so the first one is just this little coin necklace from H&M. I think it's super cute, spices up any outfit and this was very affordable. And then here is the other layered necklace. This has one, two, three, four layers and a little horseshoe at the bottom. This one's really cute, but to be honest, I do not remember where I purchased this from. I've had it for ages. Yeah, can't seem to get rid of it. It's held up pretty well too, but I will say I definitely got it at like Forever 21 or something like that. And for my last necklace, I have this little guy here. Um, I bought this on Etsy. It's actually part of a ceramic tile from, I want to say, Chili. Now I'm going to move on to bracelets, so we'll start off with what I'm wearing today. So on this arm, I just have these little stackable beaded bracelets. The first one is my Jay Bouth bracelet that uh, Mariah and I made. It's kind of like an inside joke, and a few of my friends have them, so that's a little fun thing. Then I have my bracelet from Morris, which says, you are my sunshine. I wear this every day, I love it so much. And this one says, fearless, and Love that as well. That's also from my bosses from Blush. On the other side, I have my Apple Watch. I have this rose gold chain, um, and it has little hearts on it. It's so cute. And then I have this little silver guy, and it just has a Hamza on it and an evil eye. So this little beaded bracelet right here, I actually have three others that came in a bundle. Um, I bought these from the Chelsea Market way, 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 way back. Um, so I have a blue one, a like charcoal colored one and a black one. They all have evil eyes on them and very stackable. To kind of go along with those other bracelets, I made my own. So this just has some purple beads 
and then a Hamza in the middle. Ages back, I actually found these bracelets in TJ Maxx, and I still love them to this day. So they just have little phrases on them. So I got one that says true, one that says fearless, and the other one actually says fearless too. I don't know why I have both of those. Um, I guess I couldn't decide on a color maybe. <laughs> these are really great for stacking as well. Um, you can just mix and match one of these with a bangle and one of these like beaded bracelets. I know this is not a bracelet, but it is an accessory that I wear on my wrist. So I have this little rose gold Apple Watch band and I changed this out from the sport band when I'm like getting dressed up or something. It just really ties the whole look together because this band can kind of ruin an outfit and I am notorious for doing that. So this is great. I have another bracelet I made. This is just silver and it has a little Buddha in the middle. Super cute. I really love those like beaded bracelets. So super, super into them. Then I have this little bangle that's from Alex and Ani and I like it because it's different than the traditional bangle. It just has some like copper colored beads. Um, and again, this is great for stacking and layering. Another bracelet I have that I'm really, really proud of because I made it myself in my jewelry class back in like high school is just this one. It's very much me. Um, it's just neutral beads. So I actually sewed each individual bead onto like a, a rope, if you will. And then it just clasps. This one like goes with all of my jewelry. Now we're getting into all of my bangles. So most of these are Alex and Ani, but some of them are just other brands. So I've got this little star one. I don't remember the exact name. I've got this guy right here. Again, I cannot remember what this stands for. I have a little starfish. This one is my birthstone, so it's just a ruby. I have one that says, like a sister to me. Of course, I have the skate one, I mean, would it even be me if I didn't have a skate bracelet? No. This one is just like a plain bangle with some silver beads on it. Very cute. Similar idea, but different beads. Um, this one I actually made out of wire and a little heart Swaborski bead I had. This one is kind of like a unique piece. I, I kind of replicated the Alex and Ani bracelet, just did it myself. And then I have one half of a wing that Kinsey gave me and this one's very special to me as well. This little bangle says, the journey awakens the soul. This one is like one of my favorite bracelets because it's just very different. It has like two little hexagons with beads. It doesn't go all the way around your wrist. It's kind of open. I have two rose gold fossil watches. I'm a sucker for rose gold. Uh, so I just have this bigger face, which has the mother of pearl face. Before I had that one, I had this smaller one. This one is really cute as well. It just has the rose gold face. I used to wear these all the time, but now I don't as much. And I feel guilty for saying that because I have my Apple watch, but these are still really great to have. I have a, a huge thing for rings, so we're just gonna start with what is on my hands again. So I have this wave, rose gold wave from Pura Vida. I have my little star and moon one from Alex and Ani. And then I just have this plain uh, rose gold band. On the other hand, I just have this little silver one with a turquoise bead. Uh, and then I just have my rose gold Pandora. The next ring I have is just this little gold guy. Um, it has a little eye on it. I can't remember where I bought this. I wanna say I bought it like an art festival. I have three anklets to share with you. Um, I wanna get more, but right now I just have this little blue guy. It just tightens and loosens in the back. I also have this like rose gold and silver beaded one. Uh, this one's meant to be a bracelet, but I just wear it as an anklet. And then I just have this Kate Spade bracelet that I also wear as an anklet. And to finish this off, we are going to talk about earrings. And I'm very sad to say I do not wear earrings anymore because one of my holes is pulled down really low. So if I wear any earrings, they would rip right through the hole. Eventually I will get my ears re-pierced, I'm hoping, but these holes in my ears will not close for whatever reason. 
but I just want to share a couple of my favorites. So my absolute favorite pair of earrings that I have are just these gold ones and they are opals. They're so gorgeous on like <laughs> I wish I could wear them. I'm so sad. Um, but yeah, these are these are my all time favorites. Next, I just have these itty bitty gold hoops. I've had these since I was like three years old um, and I still have them to this day. I just love the look of a tiny hoop, especially because I have a small face and just body. I feel like huge hoops do not suit me at all. So I love these. I have these little guys. I'm really bad at describing. Um, they're just gorgeous. They've got a giant bead and then some mini beads surrounding them. Um, I want to say these are like a little more pricey, but they're still probably like 30 bucks. I have these cute little Hamza ones that just have like a coral bead on the inside. Yeah, these are just very cute and just fun. Um, I have a thing for Hamzas, I guess. I didn't realize that. And then my final piece that I'm sharing with you guys are just these little flower-like earrings. Um, this is what they look like. <laughs> I don't know where they're from. I don't know, you know, what this design is. This was like a little flower imitation. and. I just, I think they're very cute. Anyways, that is all of my jewelry. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This took me freaking forever to film. I'm gonna be straight up with you, but I love watching these like collection videos. So if you wanna see my makeup collection, my shoe collection, anything like that, let me know. I would be happy to film it. And sorry about the crappy lighting. It's getting dark outside and I just needed to finish, but I love you all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.